So I've rebuilt my board. I put in a new capacitor and I'm going to show you here. I got it from one of my other boards, just soldered it right in and got rid of the old one. So let's try this again and see what happens when we take this. Uh, let's see, first off, let's see the voltage. Oh, I have to turn it on. Okay. In the on state, it's at 15.18 slash 19 volts. Now let's change that over to amps. And it should turn on. Let's see how long this one lasts. This one's using a lot more power, 0.43. Something's not right here. Something's going to explode. Wow, this thing is going crazy. So I just pulled four and a half amps at 15 volts. I'm gonna show what basically happens when there is just one battery connected. And let's just get some standard amperage readings here. So it's on and we're connected. 0.12, and I've got it backwards, so I'm ignoring the minus. So 0.19 is, is normal. And when it's got 15 volts, it's pulling 0.43. So when we turn this thing on, Let's do this again. 0.25 and it's back to Sounds like something popped there. We lost this motor. This motor is gone. It's seized. It's locked up. This motor got killed. I'm going to try and show you. I can't. I can't move it. It's seized up. It's completely locked. See, there's nothing's ever completely done. It's pretty locked up though. It doesn't want to turn. That motor is done. So let's see what happens now. Let's keep going. Getting some kind of blink. It knows that the motor's dead. 15 amps. Oh, that thing is smoking. Fifteen amps is getting picked up.
That thing is absolutely smoking. It is done for. That thing is gone. Let's see the other side. Let's disconnect this first so we don't get any sparks. Nothing out of the ordinary. It's just smoked up. Now I'm gonna tell you, none of these motors are, are hot. They're all average temperature. That one's hot. That one got hot. Let me unplug this. Just for safety, so nothing gets hurt. Shut this off. Okay, now we're completely disconnected. That motor is smoky. I don't have the emissivity set on this thing, so let's just see if I could get a reading. I got up to 106 maximum. So it's not really that. Oh, I hit 111 there. In that brief short time, I hit 123.8, if you could see the maximum. Whereas these other motors, 92, 93, 89, these motors are cold. This thing was on fire though. Oh wow, that's where the heat was from up here. Well, I hit a, I hit 136.6 at one point on there. So, that's what happens if you try to run a 4S battery through your SEMA. It's not going to work. Don't do it. Capacitors are barely rated for 16 volts, and the motors definitely won't handle that much power. So. There you go, 4S battery on a SEMA X8W X8C, not gonna work.